What's up, machine freaks? It's getting f -f 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 freezing here in New York State. Look at the BMW. She's just covered with snow. Got some snow on the D-Max. Got ice and everywhere. Nice and slippery. Look at that. What a shame. There's too little snow to go snowmobiling, and there's too much snow because there's not enough snow, if, if that makes sense. I got mail. I think opening mail is the same as opening gifts on Christmas. You go for the big ones first. Unless you know there's something good in the small ones. But there's always something good in the big ones, right? This thing's heavy. Another light bar. This will be my third light bar. The first one was on the Duramax, the second one was on the Grizzly. Ox bean. It's finally getting cold enough. I'm leaving in the Duramax in a little bit. I want to plug it in. For you guys that don't know what that means, I'm plugging it in so the coolant heats up, which makes my engine hotter or warmer. There's no way it's gonna get hot, but it's gonna get warm. Oh, man, that snow's heavy. It's not even gonna stay up by itself. That sucks. I've never used this cord yet, but there's a cord. Here it is. Here's the plug. I got it. That's a good like 50 pounds on there. I need to grab an extension cord so I can plug that thing in because I am leaving soon. We're going up to Kyle S's and we're gonna go put a light bar on Devin's machine. He said a side by side, but things could change. We'll find out, but we'll definitely find out once we get up there. I got crap on my nose. I do have crap on my nose. <laughs> Anyways, I ran the cord under the garage door. Now all we gotta do is plug it in, plug it in. I forgot to turn off my alarm. Sometimes I forget to disengage it. I... The cool thing about this extension cord is if it comes unplugged, the light goes out. That way you know if it's plugged in. I got it plugged in. And she should start warming up soon. I made it up to Kyle S's. Devin is here as well. This is Devin's rig. This is the machine we're gonna put the light bar on. I wanna thank Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. They sent this to us. We're gonna put this on his rig. Hopefully it works out nice and slick. Devin wants to put it like right here. I think that'll work really good. His plow goes up extremely high as you can see. This light bar is gonna make it real nice at night when he's plowing some snow. Got some mounts and a nice wiring harness. And they also sent us some different colored things to put on here. So let's just say, you know, the light is shining at the snow and then that light's shining back into Devin's eyes. He can put these things on, dim it down a little bit, and he can see. He won't go blind. He won't like crash off into a cliff. Or you can put them out like that. Devin chose this way. Now they did send us Allen wrenches right in here. So Devin's putting the mounts on the light bar. After he puts the mounts on, then what we'll do is we'll center this by placing it and then measuring, you know, get the tape measure out, do a nice professional job. That's what we're all about. We got the mounts on this thing. Now what we have to do is bust out the tape measure, center this thing, drill our holes. Let's say a little prairie, guys. God, please allow us to drill this hole where it needs to be. Amen. <laughs> that was quick. You got that thing centered or what? Yes, I have not moved. <laughs> you sure? Yes. I always say that when I get done with it and she <laughs> dog tails one way or another. We got the hole drilled and, it, and it's very, very square, which will be very nice. Now we're gonna run the wire behind the light bar and we're gonna drill a hole right here for the wire to go into so that it's very clean and we don't have any messy wires anywhere. Messy wires are disgusting. We're staying away from that. We'll run the hole right there. That's solid. No silicone needed on that. Exactly. Baby. Yeah, we're making things so tight that we might not even need silicone. 
So like I mentioned before, the way we drilled these holes to hold the actual mounts down, they're slightly smaller than the bolt, which gives extra strength. It'll thread right into the plastic, which will add extra strength. And keep it watertight. So now that we have the light on its mount, the mount on the, what's this thing called? Wolverine. Now I can loosen up these bolts, get the proper angle, and then wire this thing up. It'd probably be easier if we just wire everything up, and then just, this should be our last thing. We'll go for a rip. And then we'll go for a rip. RIP! We're working on a 2016 Yamaha Wolverine. This thing's brand new, which is very nice. You're not dealing with mud or dirt or grime or anything like that. So before we finalize any of the wiring, we just want to make sure we know how this wiring harness works. It's two different settings, so you got that off first. Super blinded. That's an awesome switch. Oh, I can't see. We got the wire running under this fender here, up through the side, nice and tight to the roll cage, right along the support, and up into the hole. Very clean, very clean. So far, it's going beautifully. Now our next concern is where we run this. Do we have any plans, you guys? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna come in here, run it right through there and drill from the back side, poke the hole through, run the wires through, we'll be golden. Poke through right there, run the switch right there. So for easy accessibility. Makes sense, right next to the steering about. wheel. Now this machine is different from a lot of four wheelers. Like four wheelers don't have these kind of battery hookups. Usually you have screws that actually go down like into the battery and you don't have that much clearance. So here on a four wheeler battery, you see how the bolt goes down into the battery? And then you don't have very much bolt clearance when you put new stuff in there. Here, you have all this clearance to deal with. Devin, how much can you see right now? Not a lot. <laughs> Alright, we got all the wires hooked up. Devin, put the hood down, if you can see. <laughs> Man, doesn't even look like we were into it, except for that one little wire that you can barely see. Man, that looks nice. Perfect position. What do you think, Devin? You like it there? I like it. All right, let's tighten her up. So we're about to go on a rip. These are for the outside ones, and then Devin's opening the inner ones too. We're gonna just see the difference. We're gonna fit three guys in a two-seated vehicle. <laughs> Are you gonna be good at <laughs> gonna try changing some of those clips out it does change it up okay now let's do the outside ones oh yeah oh that's like more centered the other ones were like wider I like the ridges you like the ridges well for plowing just lighten it up around the sides Well, it was fun installing the aux beam light bar. If you guys are interested in a light bar like this, the link will be in the description. Devin's gonna play around with the lenses. He's gonna experiment with them, see which ones work best in the snow, and then he's gonna experiment which ones work better when he's not plowing. It, it came out extremely clean, and we drilled everything so tight that we don't even need silicone. Like, all the holes are nice and tight. He shouldn't have any leaks in his roof. I wanna thank Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. Until tomorrow, 
3D machines out. <laughs> Tell him, 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 tell him